what's going on people um it's your boy jeff welcome to my channel so yeah man um i'm gonna start this channel because um you know uh it all kind of started because of my injury you know i got injured like i play football on my weekends um i'm not professional or anything like that i'm not trying to be pro or anything like that i just literally just play football on my weekends and um you know it keeps me fit keeps me sane you know um when i go work on the week you know just the fact that I got football on the weekends is just, you know, it's good for it's just good for my mental health and it just keeps me busy, keeps me active. Um, unfortunately, on September, I sustained a knee injury, um, and it was a. Do you know what? It's kind of unconfirmed right now because I still haven't been able to get a scan, although the injury happened in September. But I have seen a physio, and he has kind of said that I have a, a meniscus injury, and. Um, I thought to myself, like, you know, it's really hard being off football for this long. And, um, you know, I had such a good season last season and it was like, I was about to start this season after lockdown and everything like that. And then everything just kind of just exploded in my face. So the season started and I'm injured and can't play. It does, you know, it does affect your, your, your head because, you know, you go on social media, you see stuff about football. You, know, you watch football, you see your football team, and stuff like that. It's really difficult. So, you know, I thought to myself, you know, while I'm off, I just want to really keep myself busy. And what I want to do is just document the journey of my injury. So, I've injured my left knee, and um, I injured it in during a game. It was it was it was on a Sunday game, Sunday league. Got to play Sunday league and Saturday league. Uh, literally, just I got played for a goal. I took a shot. Keeper saved it. My eyes were kind of focused on the keeper, um, which it always is and when I shoot anyway, nine times out of ten. But as my foot has come down, it's planted, planted into the ground. And I don't know if it's because I was playing on 3G, you know, my foot um, got my, you know, my studs got caught in the in the 3G and, and I went over my uh, knee and um, I like, hyperextended, I jarred it, whatever term you want to use. It felt horrendous. It felt like I actually thought that my bank, my my leg was about to snap. Like I felt vibrations in my knee. It just felt bad. Like it just was just bad. And obviously, when you play Sunday league, it's like you know you kind of have to pick yourself up and and and, and, and clear off. I I have a high pain threshold, so to be honest with you, like I was hurt, but I was still able to like get myself off but I knew that it was bad because I had to crawl off and then once I crawled off and I sat down for a bit I was able to just compose myself and just limp off and yeah since then that happened what September September the 13th or something like that and we're now in uh, October 27th obviously there has been like improvements um, you know I went from like my legs swell up a couple of hours later I thought I did my ACL for what have I done? I've never really have never really had a major knee injury before, so it was all like, what am I gonna do? But um, yeah, my legs swelled up. I was limping heavily. Couldn't walk. I had to get crutches. I had crutches before before from a previous injury about five years ago, and it was like, what am I gonna do? So I think the next day I woke up. I was still in pain, and I went to A and E. Um, <clears throat> in a way, it was kind of like a waste of time because I was there. For like what five hours I was I was there for five hours and I got an x-ray and like part of my lack of awareness for this was that you know when if you hurt your knee an x-ray doesn't tell you what ligaments are damaged it doesn't it just it's an x-ray is just you know solely for the bones so obviously the fact that you know I waited all that time and like I just I waited all that time had a had a um, what do you call it an x-ray and the doctor just said to me like yeah you know what yeah there's no breaks or nothing you know looks funny in your knee so you know you'll be back in a couple of weeks just take some you know over the counter medication so obviously to me when it happened i thought oh that's great then i'm just going to be out for like a couple of weeks but listen here i am now you know and it's been a while and i'm still really no closer to being back i mean the good news is i'm not limping anymore i can walk my leg doesn't feel as heavy however it does feel pain like I can't really I can bend my leg 90 degrees once I go past 90 degrees sometimes it has a really painful click that is a you know a big indicator to me about 
this whole meniscus injury but even aside from the meniscus injury I feel like I've hurt my ligaments on on each side like the the MCL and the PCL um so um I don't think I've like done anything major on the MCL and PCL but they still hurt and um yeah so I've been to the physio you know checked me over and stuff like that and haven't he feels I haven't done any major ligament in damage um but I'm still going to see him I'm going to see him today so yeah man it's like it's just literally going to go there like I went there last month so I'm going to go there again and um see what the update is see if my leg is stronger and stuff like that I've been doing a lot of workouts so yeah man like to make like for me like this channel is literally just going to be showing like the just the progress that I make, um, you know, the workouts that I do to get my knee back. I just want to bring awareness to it. Anyone who's going through any knee injuries, you know, who's going through any long-term injuries, is, is very, it does, you know. When you play sport, people don't realise the effect that has on you. It keeps you sane. After a hard week of work, you go and play football, you go and play whatever sport you play, and you just feel free. All your problems are aside. And, like, the fact that I can't even do that, yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's been really hard. Definitely been very difficult. So I thought, you know what, yeah, I want to just, like you know document this you know it's quite therapeutic to me and you know hopefully if you like it then you know join the journey uh just you know subscribe whatever um this is like the second time i've actually decided to make a youtube channel because obviously the first one i did was meant to be for myself but then it kind of turned into a family channel so you know if you want to see me and my family and that you can you can go and sub to that but if you just want to see me um and like you know my the way i cut my journey and you know if you want to um come with me to football because again like it is quite hard for me to go and watch football matches because of what is happening but if i've got a purpose to watch football matches you know and, and document it in a positive way and you know see how my team is doing then i think you know if you if you guys like that i'll do that definitely i do plan to do it anyway so I'm probably gonna give you some footage a bit later when i get to the um the physio yeah so once i get to the physio We'll see. Okay, so I'm about to go to the physio now. Uh, you know, we'll see what he's gonna say. Obviously, he's probably gonna do a few stretches here and there, which I'll let you know after. But let's see if he can tell me anything new. So I'll see you lot when I get there. Um, I just reached here. Um, I'm a bit early, so um, I'm gonna go in shortly. But I tell you what, yeah, you see, because the NHS is moving long, I have to source my own, you know, physio, and like, this is just costing me so much money, like, and they want me to do one every week, having a laugh. I'll do like once a month until the NHS sort me out. Yo, so I'm back from the um, appointment. Yeah, um, it was all right. Uh, my knees definitely got better. Um, the swelling is not as bad. I've got a few new exercises I'm gonna try out which I never knew which is good and um, Yeah, I mean overall it was okay Again, like I'm, I, I do a lot of work on my knee like Regardless of whether I go to the physio or not. This is the first time I'm even going to a physio in my life but um, Yeah, everything's going well so far and um, I've got another physio session booked in next month, but you know, I'm working on, I'm working on um, the NHS at the moment. I'm waiting for them to, you know, get back to me. So once they get back to me, um, then you know, hopefully I don't have to go back here and pay. I could just go NHS. But really, all I want from the NHS is a scan, really. But I mean, at the moment, the most I got back from from my physio was that, uh, you know, after next month, I'm gonna move into a few more proper exercises like, like skipping which i was finding like hopping on one leg sorry which i was finding a bit difficult today so if i can hop next if i can hop by next month then obviously then i can start jogging then boom like i'm gonna be back but again it's still a process you know it could be i've still got another two months out possibly um you know i'm i'm, I'm targeting january as a comeback but again you know i don't know my physio said that my um, ligaments are fine, but I still need a scan to just confirm that. 
Uh, so, I mean, the good thing is, I mean, ligaments is something that can cause you to just be out for, for ages. So, the fact that he says my ligaments are fine is good, but obviously there's a lot of irritation and swelling. Not a lot of swelling, but there's still swelling in my in my, my my knee. So, obviously use the next month for things to settle down. And then, boy, you never know, man. But, yeah, guys, obviously this is just like, you know, this is like stage two for me. But for you guys watching, this is like the first step. So, you know, uh, if you like this video, you know. Make sure you smash that like button um, and comment, you know, um, if you're going through anything like this and uh, if you've got any tips for me. And yeah, guys, I'm going to leave it there because, you know, the video's been going on for a little while and I don't want to bore you. And guys, you know what? Uh, you'll hear from me soon. Um, probably uh, on the weekend, I'm going to go and watch my match, my team's match, support the boys. And yeah, man, bring you something from there. But guys, I'm going to leave you guys to it, yeah? Take care. Peace.